In this video, I want to show you how to make IR remote control without any microcontroller. It has 6 channels and each channel can handle 10 amps of current. Most commercial IR remote control using special protocol to transmit the commands, so-called NEC protocol, which is complicated and cannot be used without microcontroller. This is my circuit. This project consists of transmitter circuit and receiver circuit. We have an infrared LED as a transmitter and an infrared receiver. The IR receiver connected to 4017IC. The transmitting commands in this case is a number of pulses. If we transmit single pulse, so the first load in the receiver turns on. But if we transmit, for example, 5 pulses, the load number 5 at the receiver turns on, and so on. But the problem here that IC4017 can run in only one output each time. But in some cases, we want to run in the 6 loads at the same time. To solve in this problem, we have to connect in SCR to each output. When you connect a short signal to the gate of the SCR, the SCR become conductive even after removing the signal from the gate. So let's say we want to run in load number 2 and load number 4. In this case, first we have to send in two sequence pulses from the transmitter. Then reset the IC4017. At this time, the SCR number 2 stay running. Then send in four sequence pulses from the transmitter. So the SCR number 4 turns on. But here we need low pass filter RC network on the gate of each SCR. That's because when you want to run in the load number 3, for example, the first and the second output of the IC run in for a short time. Then the signal stay constant on the desired output number 3. So the RC network is important. To prevent undesired load switched on, we also need auto reset circuit. But how to switch off the SCRs? To do that, we just need to disconnect the VCC from the loads. That's done by using a PMP transistor. The base of this transistor connected to the output number 7. So when the transmitter send in 7 sequence pulses, the output number 7 of the IC in the receiver become high. So the PNP transistor switched off the loads. I also use the Schmidt trigger between the IR receiver and the IC to filter out any noise from the receiving signal. The transmitter circuit consists of IC4017 and two oscillators. The first oscillator tuned on the frequency of 38 kHz and the second oscillator tuned on the frequency of 24 Hz. But why we need two oscillators? That's because the IR receiver react to a certain frequency from 30 kHz to 50 kHz, while the second oscillator with a frequency of 24 Hz used to make in a certain amount of pulses. Depends on the switch that you pushed. This part of circuit using for auto reset. I convert this circuit to PCB, then I went to PCBWay.com. After two months, I received my package. I split off the receiver board from the transmitter. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. And as you can see, the circuit working. When the red LED in the transmitter board or in the receiver lights up, you should not press any button because that means the auto reset circuit trying to reset the counter IC. It takes 3 seconds only. Here you can see the transmitting pulses from the circuit. When I pressed for example the switch number 3, 3 sequence pulses appears on the scope display. But when I press the switch number 6, Six pulses appears, and so on. The maximum distance range in my case is less than 5 meters, but you can increase in the distance range by connecting two IR LED in series. To be honest with you, I have to say that this circuit has two problems. 
The first problem is the power consumption of the transmitter circuit in the standby state, which is very high in compared to the standby power consumption of the commercial IR remote control. The second problem is interference of any other IR remote control with the circuit. You can order this circuit from PCBWay.com. I leave the link below in the description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.